we're continuing here with our code introduction. Um, so what I want to talk about is something called, uh, oh, sorry, I was just talking here about the header. So the header is our nav bar. This over here we don't really need. Um, we have the home and we have the client email and we have the logout button and let's verify that the logout button works and yes, the logout button works. We can log back in and we have cookies as you can see. CIF giving and we have a new email here. Okay, so um, we also want to talk a little bit about the routes now. So if I go to the app and routes I have here. Um, I'm sorry, this is all pulled in from the server.js. So within the server.js, we're declaring our port, we're declaring our views folder. The public folder is where, where all the apps uh, main files are located. The socket is an array that holds all the logged in users. We'll get into that in another video. Um, we have, let's see, schedule the job. Okay, we have passport and we have configure passport.js. That's in config passport.js. This is where all the, the logic goes for actually signing up. So that means uh, when we create a new user, we're gonna find we're gonna run this SQL query over here, insert into client, the client creation date, client email, client password, and so on. And then we're gonna do something uh, with the root and so on. We pass a new user MySQL. And over here we have select all from client where client email equals the username. Okay, and if the password equals rows dot, if the password, we're passing in this, the username, which is the email, the client email, and we have the password, which is uh, taken pretty much straight from the input. And then we pass it into some, we do some logic with it. If it's the password is not equal, the user will get a message saying run password muchacho. If the, the username does not exist, if the username doesn't exist in the database, then we're going to get that message. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Okay, and we have the database file. I actually included an option to, to add another database in, uh, because one of the possible features I was thinking about was uh, being able to segment segment your leads and we're going to go I'm going to get into that in a second okay this is the repo here feel free to clone it make a pull request if you want segment your customers and send them highly targeted emails okay and there's a little bit more about the app here which is that it's using Mailgun how to create a database, how to structure your .env file, that's important. If you're using Mailgun, this is specifically for Ubuntu, but if you're just using Windows, erase the word export here. And how to deploy to Heroku, because you can deploy this app to Heroku once you're finished. Um, or you could just clone this copy here and deploy it to Heroku. In order to deploy it to Heroku, you'll just have to change the port to 80 and then it'll work. Okay, so that pretty much covers that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the, the email template. Hmm. Now that we'll talk about another video. Let's see, we got, we covered the database, we've covered passport. Uh, the blog itself has index.html files in here. This all needs to be cleaned up, by the way, because you'll see that it doesn't, uh, in each one of these index.html files, we're, we're adding the header, the head, and the header here. And we don't actually need all these, these head and headers. There's a concept, DRY, don't repeat yourself in coding. And that's why we want to try to remove all these headers. As you can see, even if I go to the LinkedIn growth hack article, measure your marketing, and every single time we get a header typed in again and the Google Analytics object. So we'll cover a solution in future.